Hey everyone, thank you for tuning into this video. Uh, before I went into today's product review, I wanted to go ahead and clarify a few things because if you have been on social media in the gun industry or in the gun realm over the past few weeks, you have you know heard the terms paid advertising and transparency of advertising. Um, it's kind of a big deal because I really value watching people's reviews on products that I'm not just, you know, they're not just shilling a product. Like they actually believe in the product, it's a good product. And I wanted you guys to know that everything I've reviewed so far has been acquired through my own personal funds. This is all, you know, basically a video of my own collection of, you know, guns, gear, etc. So I wanted you guys to know that. And if in the future, if ever, um, you know, I'm, I'm presented with a product to review for either, you know, I don't purchase it or, you know, some kind of deal, I will be completely transparent with you guys. but. I wanted you guys to know that um, at the beginning of each video from now on, I will go ahead and you know kind of display you know the whole transparent situation. That way, there's no confusion whether or not I'm just being a shill because no one likes that. I don't like that, and I know you guys won't like that either. So with that out of the way, I wanted to take some time to remind you guys to, if you like the content, um, share, subscribe, like. Um, around 80% of the people that are watching these aren't subscribed. So uh, if you're out there and you like the content, please help me out and let me know uh, by subscribing and commenting. And I will, you know, I greatly appreciate that. So with all the housekeeping stuff out of the way, we will get into today's product review, which is the Nod's Nest. So for quite some time, I have kind of neglected uh, things like bags, cases, things like that, because, I, you know, they're not cool um, because, you know, all they do is hold your stuff. Um, but when I found out this product, uh, one of my friends actually makes it and I saw it and I thought of all the, the cool things that it does. I, you know, had to get my hands on one for a review. And uh, with that being said, this is a relatively new product. Um, he just started producing it a few, uh, a few months ago, I think, uh, but it's been in development for quite some time. Before we get into the Nod's Nest, I wanted to kind of unwrap my Nod's Nest because it's kind of showing you how you would be carrying it in the field and how you would open it up and, you know, kind of what it's for. So uh, with that being said, um, right here, it's carry handle. So you can, you know, carry it, you can hook it on a door frame, you can, you know, hook it on a coat rack in a car. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff, uh, but I just use that for a carry handle. Anyways, so um, these are the buckles, so they kind of overlap, you can kind of see. So, and another thing is that the nonsense is super cool in the fact that it can incorporate all of your accessories. You don't have to take anything off. Um, so we'll get into that in the, here, here in a little bit. But, so take off the buckles, kind of lays out like that. And that is the coolest part of the Nod's Nest. So right here we have the basics of the Nod's Nest, right? So you have the main body of the Nod's Nest, which is actually a closed cell foam. So that's what gives it some kind of uh, some sponginess, some, some uh, like some bump protection. And then it has, um, I think it's called IDPE. Um, it's basically like a hard plastic. So you can kind of hear that hard plastic. That's what basically protects your night vision inside of this from an actual, um, you know, bump or drop or things like that. So as you already know, you saw me take the helmet apart and you saw the night vision laying inside of it. But the coolest thing about the Nod's Nest is that it uses your helmet shell to actually protect your night vision. So with your uh, helmet around your night vision, you're actually protecting it from outside, you know, like through this way. Um, and then on the actual bottom, the lips of the helmet are actually what's protecting it from from like drops. So this is actually really ingenious because I have used um, you know things like pelicans. Um, but the thing with pelicans and night vision storage and helmet storage is that you have two units. So likewise, you might have two cases. Um, for those of you who have pelican cases, you know that they're not very cheap. You know that they're not very small. So Portability is a huge issue when you when it comes to transporting night vision. So the Nod's Nest truly is trying to be a one and done situation for night vision transportation. So you have where you stow your night vision. Um, for those of you who are curious if this is you know acceptable for all night vision platforms, typically all uh, like binocular style or goggle style night vision will fit. 
Um, for those of you with PBS14s, you might have to get an additional um, sort of placard. So they actually are completely modular. So as you can see, um, you can just rip that away and then replace it. Um, same thing with the battery thing. So if you have Velcro battery storages, like um, uh, I used to have a Spiritus battery storage, you could just Velcro that on and that's where you'd store your batteries. So um, this does store CR123s, stores double A's, triple A's, etc. So um, kind of does it all. So just real quick, I'll kind of show you guys how you would stow your night vision inside the NAS nest and then kind of how, uh, kind of the thought process behind how it works. So real quick, I'll kind of show you guys how I stow my night vision inside of my NAS nest. So starting with my RNVGs, um, like I said earlier, this will kind of, you know, this has been shown to fit multiple goggle style uh, platforms, PVS 31s, PVS 15s, DTNVGs. Um, they all have pretty much the same footprint, um, but that being said, there are a few exceptions. Uh, I'm not sure if PVS 18s or whatever will work, uh, but contact Nod's Nest and he can get you fixed up. So uh, I'll take the eyepieces, kind of slide them in there. And this doesn't really matter the orientation that you use, um, just because they're going to be inside the helmet anyways. So, and then I'll just slip the elastic around. Okay. So yeah, now they're really nice and secure, um, not going anywhere. And like I said earlier, um, this is some closed cell foam, nice and padded, and then it has that really hard plastic under it. So really no chance of uh, getting it damaged under there. Next thing you do, obviously, is just add your helmet. Um, I would just go ahead and buckle your helmet each time you do this. Otherwise, you're going to have your strap dangling around and getting in the way of things. So what I do, um, so this is another benefit of the Nod's Nest. You don't have to take off your G24s or whatever mount you're using. Um, so you don't have to really mess with anything. Back side of the helmet lines up with the back side of the Nod's Nest. Front side, um, I usually run the, um, the mount with a carry handle. You can do whatever, pretty much. Um, then you bring in your straps and buckle them in. You can tighten them as you see fit, uh, but mine are already tightened, so now you have it stowed. So like I said earlier, um, you know, comms are, you know, on the helmet, no need to take them off, no need to take off strobes, lights, anything like that, or your mounts. So uh, it's kind of nice for rapid deployment, you know, just not having to mess with anything on your helmet. So as you guys know from my suppressor review videos, I'm not really a subscriber to the one thing does everything great philosophy. So the Nas Nest does a really good job at you know portability and stowability. Um, but I will say that if I'm taking you know cross country flights, um, you know I would go ahead and probably put it in a Pelican, um, just because you know what ifs are not really good with night vision. Um, but what the Nons Nest does really well is if I'm going to the range or if I'm going hunting, so just, you know, a short day trip or a weekend trip, I don't want to bust out the, you know, the two Pelican cases in my, in my garage, um, I'll pull out the Nons Nest. Um, it's also really good for organization, you know, on your shelf. Um, so, uh, those of you who are wondering, you know, when would I use this? That's kind of my thought process behind it. And that being said, I mean, it does have really good protection. You probably could fly with it. Um, it's just one of those things that uh, it's kind of up to your, you know, caution. When you're buying anything these days, it's really important that you believe in the company's message and you also believe in how they're ran. So a lot of the times when you're talking about soft goods, a lot of the times businesses are outsourcing for cheap labor so they can maximize their profits. Uh, that's not the case with Nod's Nest. So Nod's Nest is a very um, small operation. It's ran by a few people um, and everything is made in the U.S. Uh, all the materials are sourced from the U.S. Um, all quality materials, all berry compliant. Uh, for those of you who don't know what berry compliant means, that's just um, so uh, DOD has a preference for American made products. Um, so all these materials are sourced in America. So one thing that's really nice about anything nowadays is that the, the focus on products is modularity. So with modularity comes adaptability 
and that means you're not stuck with one product that can do one thing. Um, that being said, the Nonsense does a lot of things great, uh, but like I said, if I was going across uh, cross country or flying, anything like that, I'd probably go ahead and throw it in a Pelican. So those of you who are interested in purchasing your own Nods Nest for your helmet and night vision system, um, one of the strongest vendors that I would say that to buy this from is Night Vision Incorporated. So for those of you who have been following me, you'll know that's where I purchased my RNVGs. Um, they are super solid uh, to go to for anything night vision related. I can't recommend them enough. Um, they are actually a dealer for the Nods Nest. So if you purchase through Night Vision Incorporated, um, you will be able to select any of the colors that are available for the Nods Nest. So Night Vision Incorporated stocks all the available camo patterns of the Nods Nest. So I have in front of me the Multicam Arid, of course, because Arid Gang. Um, but they also have black, Multicam Black, Arid, uh, Regular Multicam, Coyote Tan, OD Green, and Wolf Gray. Um, he said that he will take special requests, but you'll have to make your, you know, make your order large enough to satisfy, you know, him ordering the fabric. So for those of you who like those weird patterns, you know, Tiger Stripe, Desert Tiger, all that stuff, um, if you put together an order enough or large enough, he can do it for you. So all in all, I'm really happy with my purchase of the Nods Nest. Like I said, I'll use it a lot just with the short range trips that I take. You know, I go pig hunting a lot. So it's really cool that I can just stow all my, all my night vision accessories in here. So that being, you know, my nods, um, my helmet, strobes, lights, batteries, you know, you can just grab the bag and go. You're not having to fumble through your Pelican cases. You're not having to fumble through, you know, battery cases. Um, so really cool with the rapid deployment system. Um, that being said, I would take my Pelican case if I were traveling cross country, you know, if TSA is fumbling through my stuff, you know, they could slip a, a buckle and, you know, drop my night vision on the ground. I could, you know, just see that happening. Um, so I think it's really cool. I wanted to share you guys um, this product because, you know, like I said, they are a very new company. You can follow them on Instagram, which I will put uh, below and you can check it out. Um, like I said, I would recommend going through Night Vision Incorporated if you're wanting to buy one for yourself. So that being said, I appreciate you guys watching this video. And like always, I will see you in two weeks and I will be putting out some new content. I'm very excited to uh, be showing you guys. Um, hint, hint, wink, wink. It's up there behind me and I'm very excited to show you guys. So stay tuned and see you next time.